after getting all the stuff and getting them all back in the car, they all head straight back to home. So Flowers and Ty carried her the majority of the stuff while Ruby and her mom carried the rest. And there was three rooms. Actually, there was a few extra rooms down in the basement. <clears throat> that looked very promising. And the signal of the stuff down in one of the rooms. So if I was to catch a, a breather for a moment, you okay, honey? I'm fine, babe, I'm fine. Whew. Things would have been a lot easier if I had a tape. Well, if I actually summoned my tail, but that takes out the majority of my energy. It does? Yeah. But when I'm a celestial dragon, I have basically endless energy. Once when I grab the Moonstone Sun Drop, I have endless energy and I never have to worry about resting again. Only rest when I need to rest. Alright, so we set up so we got the first room done. You know, let's go on ahead and put all the stuff in the second and in third room. Alright, Ruby, I think you should get some rest. I think it'll be best if you let me and some Final Wars and your father handle this. Are you sure, Mom? I'm sure. Okay. I'll be in it. I'll be in my room if you need anything. Hey, Sir Final Wars. Don't worry, we got this. After Ruby took off to her room to get some rest, so far ended up having a nice conversation between her parents. Then Summer ended up, Summer Rose ended up mentioning that she was still very thankful that so far saved her life, basically. Eh, it's no sweat. After all, eventually you're going to become my future mother-in-law, so... And plus, I already see you guys as family. You do? Yeah. I... Well, you basically know who my father is, or have I told you? No, you haven't. I told my friends about this, but... I'm Baraki's son. You are? Yeah. My mom never liked talking about him. But... He was nice to me on my birthdays. And he always wanted to train me to become a best the best thing in game history. Was he a bad father to you then? Baraki? Yeah, he was. But he was always nice to me on my birthdays. It wasn't until one of those great Imugis <laughs> end up telling me while well, telling my mom that my father turned evil and I my mom and I were left me alone but remember the great Imugi that killed that became a celestial dragon and killed Baraki yeah turns out he's my father I end up well turns out he ended up becoming my stepdad and he ended up telling me to do the right thing. And always choose my own path. And so I wanted to make him proud. So I chose to become a good guy, not a bad guy.
I never thought that Baraki was capable of doing all that stuff. You always call him by his real name. You never called him by his, by, you know, father or dad. I don't feel like I'll call him that. Plus, Baraki wasn't the best dad I had. So, I refuse to call him that. No matter how many times people say that I'm Baraki's son, I refuse to accept that fact as true. Even though I know it's true, but I refuse to accept it. So, I chose to accept the fact that I'm the great celestial dragon's son. The good Imugi. That's really sad. But I promise you, I'll take really good care of your daughter. You don't need to worry about one thing. If if anything happened, I would I would allow you guys to get mad at me. After all, I also was the one who hooked your daughter up with um Oscar. So it was you. It was you. Wait, you knew? Of course! Of course I knew I was you! Why can I not think of it? How do you knew? Crow told us. Besides, Sir Fun Wars, what's up? I think you'll be a great son in law. You think so? Yeah. By the way, what's this game called Among Us? It's crap. It's like the best game, horror game you've ever played in your entire life. Oh, is it that good? You've not played Among Us? No, I have played Finance or Freddy's and... Well... A little flashback. When Super Final Wars played Finance or Freddy's. No, 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 no. Don't you dare come out of that... Don't you dare come out of your co... Don't you dare come out of your Pirate's Cove, Foxy. Stay there. Just please. I know a nice little fuck. No, 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 no. Aha, gotcha. And oh god, frickin' Chica. I hate you, Chica. Back to present day. <clears throat> yeah, I had not. I did not have much fun at all when I'm playing. When I played frickin'. <sighs> I did not have much fun at all when I was playing that game. Well, we're sorry. Hmm? Hmm? But Among Us is completely different. Want to run me the details? Sure. You play it. Hey. Okay, when you are... It's basically more like a game that ruins, ruins your friendship with your friends. Oh, it does? Yeah, it's not a very pleasant game that you want to play with your friends. <clears throat> but, you basically play, when you're playing as a normal well, person, you, you have tasks to do. You have to do all the tasks. It'll say it when, once when you play it. But when you are as the imposter, <clears throat> is it just like that horror movie called The Thing? Oh, you've seen the movie? I saw clips of it when Yang and Blake were watching it. <clears throat> but I have not seen the whole thing. Ah. Anyways, um, continue. <clears throat> Um, your job as an imposter is to rather sabotage everything, make sure that no one is doing the right thing, and you have to kill a bunch of people. Or if you're lucky enough, you can basically get the whole ship basically explode and you win. Basically that. But, um, yeah, that's your job as the imposter. 
yeah, like what we said before, it's a game that basically ruins friendship. It's a game that basically ruins your friendship with your friends, basically. Uh, might give that game a try. See how bad it really is. It's not a bad game, honestly, but it's the best horror game, basically, that you've ever played. Uh, I don't know. I'm still having nightmares when Ruby and I played Alien Isolation. Wait, you played the number one scary game in history? Most people don't think that Alien Isolation is the number one scary game, but I think so. Eh, we do have our own opinions. So, how did you and Ruby play Alien Isolation? Ugh, don't remind me. Ugh. It was a very t intense situation. Once when we started playing the game. The first part wasn't that scary, but once when the aliens showed up, it was, oh my god, that was terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying what's when the alien shows up. Yeah, things tend to get a little intense once when the xenomorph shows up. The xenomorph? That's what it's really called? Yeah, you have not watched the xenomorph movies? No, I've heard about them, but I haven't seen them. So that's what that thing is. Mm hmm. It's a xenomorph. Uh huh. Are there any other horror games that you and Ruby played, or. Hmm. I don't know. Well, we played Alien Isolation, and... I don't know. I think we played at least a dinosaur horror game. There's no, like, dragon horror game. They should, they should make that. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of... Dragon horror games. They should at least make at least one or two How to Train Dragon horror games, or uh, not How to Train Dragon horror game. At least a How to, at least a Dragon horror game. So, I will, I will absolutely play a dragon horror game. Of course, because you are eventually going to become a dragon. Hey. That's my people are you, that you're talking about. Stop saying, thing, stop saying bad things about my people. I'm not trying to say anything bad about your people. We were just saying that it's kind of shocking that you'll play a game that's basically about your people. Yeah, don't get used to it. 